They say the world is getting smaller. That's not true. The world is the same size today as it was a million years ago. They say we're living in difficult times. But that too is not really true. At least no truer than it was 10, 100 or 1,000 years ago. Every age in history has had its plagues, wars and disasters. What is different about the world today compared to the past is our knowledge and communication. Today we have more information available than ever before and we can communicate at a speed that was considered impossible just a few years ago. Knowledge and communication have become two of our most important tools. Tools that we're using to fight an age-old scourge. Infectious disease triggers deep and ancient survival instincts in us. We are old enemies. It is only today that these tools make it feasible to build a network of networks. A global outbreak alert and response network for global health security. A network made up of people on all continents, people of different backgrounds, with a common goal. WHO has been fighting disease for over 50 years. Today this innovation is available. Pooling of information, resources and brain power to rapidly help people who are sick. But equally important to prevent disease from spreading. Diseases know no borders. They spread, multiply and mutate, taking advantage of every opportunity to flourish. And outbreaks have other consequences, as we saw with the emergence of SARS. SARS quickly spread death and human sorrow. It also led to economic disaster. Business suffered as a result of fear and uncertainty. Even as SARS gripped Southeast Asia and Canada and demanded the world's attention, outbreaks of other diseases continued, causing major suffering around the globe. Outbreaks that could not be ignored. A new epidemic meningitis strain, Ebola in Central Africa, plague, cholera outbreaks, yellow fever. Then, on March the 12th, WHO issued a global alert about a new disease, triggering an unprecedented global response, even before we could name this new enemy. Linking hundreds of people in locations around the world, the alert and response operations moved into a higher gear, a level never previously experienced. The response, that would have taken weeks or months just a few years ago, now only took days. Expert teams from the Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network deployed to support affected countries. Working with WHO staff worldwide, this network mobilized hundreds of others throughout the world, each playing an important role in this global effort. Epidemiologists, clinicians, laboratory scientists, environmental investigators, veterinarians, logisticians, communications experts, healthcare workers. They were all put through a hard test when SARS first struck. Questions had no answers. What is this? Where did it come from? How do we stop it? What is going on? SARS struck hard and fast. It stressed countries and WHO capacity to the breaking point. Everywhere, dedicated people were working unbelievable hours in an effort to sustain this global response. These efforts paid off, and four months after the WHO Global Alert was issued, the SARS genie was apparently back in the bottle. But this may be only a chance to draw breath. This war against infectious disease doesn't end. And SARS is not the worst disease out there. An influenza pandemic would kill more people. And we also face the unthinkable possibility of bioterrorism. We have to work now to ensure that we're getting stronger, better prepared, learning from the hard lessons of SARS and other emerging diseases. Countries need national preparedness for outbreaks. 
We need a larger pool of experts who can travel rapidly to assist affected countries when called upon for help. Collaboration with member states, as good as it already is, must improve. We need to further improve communication at all levels, local, national, regional and global. You get that Bravo back to base. As diseases evolve and new disease emerges, we must also ensure that our defenses evolve and adapt, getting stronger, staying one step ahead. Like the pillars of a solid structure, our ideas and actions support a well-defined goal. WHO's strategy for global health security reaches out to the world community. It can only work with support and involvement from all. Our job will never be finished. The world is constantly changing, and we change with it to prepare and to respond to the unexpected.